Hi, I'm Dave Bonsall and this is my coloured card on sealing wax. Now, the, uh, the wax comes in several different colours. We have uh, natural, just a good old fashioned plain natural wax. There is bicycle blue and bicycle red. Now these colours have been matched, properly officially matched with bicycle red and blue. So they are exactly the same colour. Uh, we have sharpie black and Sharpie Grey. Now, there are reasons uh, for having these colours. Uh, first of all, if you perform card on sealing and you have your wax um, in a small tub and you sneak it out with an elastic band and put it around the packet, if, for example, you have a red pack of dark bikes and um, you have your standard card on sealing wax on there, there is a chance that the that could flash and it could be seen. So why not, if you use red bikes, have some red wax and when the red wax is on that there's a lot smaller chance of it being seen if you're going to flash. The same with the blue, bicycle blue again once it's on there if you're going to flash it's a lot less likely to be seen. But the main reason I wanted to develop coloured card on sealing wax is not for the red and the blue that's just an extra it's for the sharpie black. If you have some black card on sealing wax and you place it on your sharpie like so, that's almost invisible. That can then stay in your pocket and whenever you need it, pull it out, the spectator signs the card and then when you put the lid back on, the wax is now stolen and that is the main reason behind it. So uh, it's virtually invisible on the top, no one is ever going to see that and it's very very easy to get the wax onto the card. The other advantage is as well, some people keep it on a button, so if you have a button like, like here, keep it on the button, or on a black belt. If you keep it on your belt, some people do, again, it's a lot less likely to be seen <coughs> excuse me, uh, than the natural wax. Some people also use it or keep it on the, uh, the bottom of their sharpie. So we have a sharpie grey that fits onto the bottom of the sharpie like that, and again, is virtually invisible. Now people have been using different types of wax to do the card on sealing effect for many years. For example, uh, you can use surf wax. Um, it's very sticky and leaves a residue on your fingers. Uh, people have used the outer skin from Edam or Baby Bell cheese. Uh, very, very sticky, but again, it leaves a residue and it's, it's red and it leaves a red colouring on whatever it touches. Um, and other forms of wax once you make a small ball, you're left with this horrible sticky residue on your fingers. And that's one of the things I didn't want. So I commissioned a company in the UK who specialised in making pharmaceutical grade wax to develop a wax specifically for the card on sealing effect. I spent a couple of days down there and over the few days they, they mixed up lots of different uh, formulas and um, ingredients and they came up with this wax. Now the colouring itself is wax based colouring so once it sticks to the ceiling it won't leave any colour on the ceiling itself and it had to be sticky but without leaving the residue so this is what they came up with this is the final choice I went it's a nice soft wax and uh, if I just place it on here you can see the slightest of touches it sticks and when you remove it it doesn't leave a residue on there so once again you can see it sticks perfectly it's nice and tacky, but it won't leave any kind of residue. So it is 100% formulated for the card on sealing effect. So the wax itself comes in five different colours, but it also comes in three different sizes. So we have the large 50 gram tub over here. We have the slightly smaller 30 gram tub and the very small 15 gram tub. These are ideal to put in your pockets, don't take up a lot of space, and you get an awful lot of performances out of this size. So that was the Prop Dog Card on Sealing Wax.